Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and we are on day four of our Black is King Kwanzaa series. I hope you all are enjoying this series and thank you if you've been following along the entire time. Before we get started, you know I have to give a shout out to Silky Sacks who inspired this series. Girl, you had me working hard. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and jump on into day four, Ujama. Beauties, we are at day four, Ujama. Ujama is a red candy. Ujama means cooperative economics to maintain, sustain, and support our very own shops and businesses. Okay? Similar to, you might remember this, Black Wall Street around early 1900s to 19... Oh, six! Yeah. You know, down there in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you know, was the largest revenue stream of African-American community that funneled and channeled money into its own production. Each one teach one. Everyone built success based off of what we need. I have to do it back with her. So I'm gonna pass it on to B, who's gonna give her the very own, um, you know, black owned business who you know, supported her and who she support. And there's a lot out there. Hey, if you have if you have your own business, make sure you drop it in the comments. So we all can support each other. You know, doing the job. For day four, Ujama, I want to highlight black owned businesses. First of all, we need to start keeping the black dollar in the black community. That's one thing that we as a community have power and strength in, and that is how we decide to spend our money. So I wanted to showcase some black owned businesses, starting off, of course, with the dramaticness, honey, of this outfit. And all of the outfits that you have seen throughout Kwanzaa have been courtesy of Chimsey Fashion. You can follow them, you can find them on Instagram. I will have that link down below. So if you have been enjoying these African inspired outfits, make sure that you support black businesses and buy black. The next small black owned business that I want to showcase is the Hair Sack. Hair Sack is the sister company to the Silky Sack and if you have been on my channel you already know we love Silky Sack here on this channel and I have right here a Hair Sack. I would turn her out but she's green so can't do it. But the Hair Sack is perfect for those ladies who love to wear wigs. She has, she's a satin line sack with two little clips here so that you can clip your wig into it and it's a safe place to store your unit that will keep them luxurious and healthy. I am super excited about my hair sack. I actually don't even use the clips. I store about three or four wigs in this one sack. So shout out to the hair sack. I will leave the Instagram to Silky Sack and Hair Sack as well as the YouTube to Silky Sack down in the description box. The last company that I would like to shout out is Amore in Beauty. I found this cosmetic company here on YouTube, but not only does she sell lipsticks, lip liners, and a whole a host of other lip products, she also sells candles. I am obsessed with my lip inks and of course the packaging of this beautiful brand. So again, if you would like to shop with Amore in Beauty and make sure that you buy black, the link for both her Instagram and YouTube channel will be down in the description box. So again, for Ujama, 
we need to be supporting our black owned businesses. And you can also support my black owned business by visiting my website, www.bestokestyling.com. If you did not know, I make custom wigs and extensions and I would love to make some for you. All right, you guys, so that is the end of day four, Ujama. Make sure that you're clicking those links and supporting black business and i will see you tomorrow for day five also remember if you want early access to the rest of the series all you have to do is click the link in the description box and join my patreon and i will see y'all tomorrow for the next video peace